Grand Rising Kings and Queens, Grand Risings, Grand Risings. Um, I just wanted to come in for a little bit and have a talk with y'all talking about spirituality. Um, once again, like in the beginning of my channel, I told y'all growing up, I was born into a very, very, very religious family. Like, when I say religious, I mean religious. Like, we was led to believe, you know, God was one way, like, and it, being prisoners in our mind. And as I got older, realizing that I've been on my spiritual journey ever since I was a little girl, I decided to study and really understand what spirituality meant. And it saved me. And a friend that I assisted recently had came to me and got cleansed. And as she got cleansed, it was a kind of a scary feeling for her. You know, she didn't know, like, am I supposed to feel like this? Is people supposed to leave my side? Um, am I supposed to be in tune with myself more? Like, you know, when you, when God, God spoke to me today and he told me, when you learn how to take a step out on faith he'll take four steps ahead of you but you have to be willing to take that step um, the universal creator is a spiritual being it's a spirit and he sits high and he watches us and a lot of times we'll go to him crying tired of certain things wanting something new and we'll go and we'll go and we'll go and he'll hear our cry and then once he hear our cries, it's like our world turns upside down. And as our world is turning upside down, God has sent an angel to you to put in a little blessing, a little sprinkle, a little love. But sometimes to us, oh, this sounds too good to be true. Oh, that's not right. Oh, this, oh, that can't do this. And you don't even know. And when your world turns upside down, that's when spirit is trying to bless you the most. His love for you is so deep that you don't even understand the way he works. He works spiritually. So as your world is turning upside down, you think that you're cursed or you think this or you think that. But just remember, when God is about to bless you, he has to test you. I'm going to say that again. When God is about to bless you, he has to test you. He has to see how can how can she or he handle the pressure. If I put the heat, turn the heat up in the oven, will they burn in fire? Or will they stand there in strength and wait for me to send them my rewards? See, this is what God asks us on today. So I'm speaking to some people that feel like your world is turning upside down. If you have never had a relationship with the universal creator and you take a step out on faith and on that step on faith you just feel like everything's going wrong and you have to start questioning if you made the right decision or not this is where the devil is playing with you at let me say that anytime you're trying to get close to the universal creator and your angels and everybody in your spiritual realm. The devil wants you to keep going back. No, 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 no. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that. And that's whenever you start getting caught up in your head. And then you feel like you made the right decision. Words are curses. And sometimes as people, we curse our own selves. I speak to people that's living in fear today. I ask you on this morning to release the power of fear. Release the power of failure. Somewhere along your life, somebody has told you that you were a failure. Somewhere along your life, you had loved ones that treated as if you were a failure. I want you to know that God gives you a second chance. And sometimes he gives you more than two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten chances. He wants you to get it right. And I want you to know on today to take that step out on faith. Know that whatever decisions that you do, 
he will see you through but understand through spirituality you have to put in a little spiritual work don't worry about these people out here that is judging you for you understand that only one person can judge you and that's the universal creator see and always remember what you do unto others it can come back on you so make sure that you focus on sowing your seeds. Remove the people and the things out of your life that no longer serve you. Mind, being a prisoner in the mind. See, that's, that's what's coming up. That's what I need to talk about now. Being a prisoner in your mind. Sometimes um, in life we were raised or brought up in a home to where there are set morals and values. And sometimes as you grow older, you start to see that the world is not based upon those values and morals that you were raised upon. And then during these times, you start to question your life. You start to question everything that you do. You start wondering, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this how this is supposed to be? And then you start becoming a prisoner in your own mind. I send you healing energy on today. Those of you that feel like you've been entrapped in your own mind, I send you peace, comfort, and balance. Perhaps you've been seeing 333-222-111-555 and the nine. If you've been seeing any of these or catching the clock at 444, seeing your total on your receipt 999 looking at the clock also it's 11 11 or 1 1 11 i'm hearing some of you haven't been going to bed since until about 1 11 or 2 22 and you've been catching it but you you don't pay it no attention ah right, whatever spirit is trying to talk to you because god right now i'm i'm hearing can you stand to be blessed? That's the question I asked you on today. Can you stand to be blessed? And understand this right here, another scripture, I love it. To whom much is given, to whom much is required. Some of you have a blessing on, or a calling on your life, a higher purpose. And you have endured so much. So much to the point that you think you're cursed. Like I said earlier. God has sent me to give you the confirmation to know that you're not cursed. Your calling is just different. That's on your life. You've had to go through plenty of heartbreaks. you had to go through constant failures. You've had to go through getting the things that you want the harder way. Because spirit is going to use you for a higher purpose. See, that's one thing. We live on the surface. And some of us are so stuck in the matrix that we live for others. We feel our bodies got to look a certain kind of way. We feel we got to have a certain kind of income. We, we feel like this. You could tell, you know, my grandmother has always told me, you could tell when people ain't came from nothing. And you can also tell when people came from everything and they're humble because they know what they had to go through to get where they're at. And then you can tell a person, like I said, who ain't had nothing. They feel they got to show something to everybody. Come from nothing. And now that you got it, you feel like God won't break you down. Humble yourself. Okay? I love you because I'm going to tell you right now. See, y'all already know. When I talk about something, I put me in the equation. I had to humble myself. <laughs> yeah, I had to humble myself real quick. Okay? God is telling somebody, humble yourself. You wonder why you're going through this. You wonder why you're going through that. Humble yourself. Look at you before you look at others. That's what, And that's another thing God is saying. Instead of always focusing about other people, this, that, and the third, you need to focus on you. Because some of them same people that you was focused on others with are the same people that's cursing you. Friendships. Reevaluate your friendships at this time. A lot of people that you thought was your friend, they're really not. And a lot of people that you thought was your friend, they've been cursing you this whole time. That's how it is. You got people that you thought was close to you. They don't want to see you happy. And now you're going through the most in your relationship. Or you was always up and now you feel like you have nothing and your friends got it all. 
Understand the energy that you carry around you. Understand that everybody that, that you think is for you is not. And I'm here in isolation, hermit mode. It's time for somebody to go in hermit mode. And then you may say, well, queen, what you mean by hermit mode? Hermit mode means isolation, something that I love to stay in as a Virgo. <laughs> Um, hermit mode. That I do my most creative creativity. See, see, it's all come spirit. Thank you, spirit. Creativity, creative. Somebody needs to isolate and tap into their creative energy. God has a business that He wants you to create. And I'm hearing you've been thinking of the layout. You've been thinking of all the things that you want for your business. You just feel that you can't be successful at what you do. And I'm hearing spirit say, He got you. <laughs> It's time for you to focus on that creative energy. What is your passion? How can you be of service to your community? See, some of them same folk that you put down in your community will be the same folk that had a key to your healing. And it's vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But you have to be of service to your community. If you got your community back, your community got your back. And that's how it works. Tap into your creative energy. Sit with the creative. Start journaling. Some of you have so much pent up energy. And I'm heard, I'm hearing spirit say, you used to always journal and you stop. But see, journaling, let me tell y'all something. On the spiritual aspect of it, it's a way to release a lot of energy. It's a way to really see what state your mental health is in. When you journal, just sit there and journal. I mean, I'm encouraging each of you. Journal for a week, okay? Journal for one week. After you journal for one week, I want you to take that journal, take you a bath, do a spiritual cleanse. As you're in your water, journal some more. As you're soaking and cleansing your spirit, journal some more. When you have done that then when you get out that tub I want you to read your journal for the week and you'll be surprised at what state your mental is in and remember sometimes we get so caught up in our own mind that we put our own selves in a mental prison stop doing this stop putting your own self in a mental prison stop it you don't even realize that you're doing it Come out of your head and tap into your heart. Your heart is so cold and your mind is on fire. You didn't catch that. Your heart is so cold, but your mind is on fire. Come out of that. See, the devil deals with the mind. Or, I don't even really like to say the devil. I like to say low vibrating entities. That's better. Low vibrating entities love to keep you stuck in your mind. And this is where you feel comfortable at entrapment, imprisonment. Because that's the way you've always felt. I'm hearing since childhood. It's time for you to let that go. Because there's a higher calling on your life. I'm telling you. You are meant to do big things. But you are stuck in the judgment of others. And everybody that's been judging you, I promise you. The karma is going to come back to them. And they shall be judged just as well. Stop holding on to the pains that other people have caused you. Let them people go and focus on you and where you are going in your life at this time. Focus and know that everything will see itself through. Spirituality is very important. Once you release yourself, like you got Christians, you got Buddhists, you got Muslims, you have so many things. And in this world, it says that we are all one, okay? We are all one of the universal creator. We are all made in his own image and likeness. So that means that you can't be conformed to just one thing. You have to be able to open yourself up to spirituality and find your way to connect. But it's very important. See, a lot of you, you be afraid of spiritual people. You go, uh -uh, I don't know what they got going on. I don't know. Uh-uh. But when you go through something, you go through a world of hell. And you be wondering, like, how do I go through this? How can they, how can spiritual people endure so much and just stand strong? Do you really want to know how we could do that? See, spiritual people, we decide to go through the darkness. And in the darkness, we are the light. 
And what the song say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thy prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thy anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I shall. See? Some spiritual people, we can walk through the, through the dark because we are the light. And we can sit there in hermit mode and really look at things from a different perspective. Learn how to take accountability. That's what I just heard Spirit say. Learn how to take accountability for your actions and the things that you do. Go in isolation and in hermit mode and really learn how to work with yourself through shadow work. Somebody's watching and you need to do some shadow work. Know that you're protected in all that you go through. But see, a lot of you, you go through things and you just wonder, like, how can I do it? Like, how, what, what in the world? Why me? Why me? You get scared. You live in fear. Us spiritual people know we don't worry because we done been through that. And through the same things that you go through, spiritual people, we don't want the balance of it. Come into balance. Somebody's feeling off as you're watching this. And that's why spirituality is important because you got to understand people carry energies with them. Just because they smile in your face, that don't mean they're for you. Some people smiling in your face because they want to be just like you. You wonder why you fell out with some of your friends. See, sometimes you got to understand some of them fallouts, God allowed to happen because he was protecting you from something that you didn't see. People, jealousy, <laughs> strong. Jealousy you so much. Y'all sitting there trying to be just alike and little do you know they cursing you. Isolation. I'm here in hermit mode. Go deep within. Really ask yourself what it is that you want. Really sit down and see. Is the same energies that you give at other people? Is it being reciprocated? Have you made peace unto others? Even if you fell out with people, make amends. Even if they don't want to apologize, even if they've done something to you, you apologize to them. Be the bigger person. Let it go. Stop trying to go back to situations that God brought you from. That's what I'm hearing. God's showing you who your energy vampires is at this time. If you let them go and they keep coming back, they, they know you're weak or they know they have a little power over you. So they keep coming back into your life to pull at you again, to speak some more negativity on you, to take your power, because they know they need your power, to survive. They ain't coming back because they apologize. You know they're going to do the same thing over and over again. They done told you they grew. They ain't grew as people. They just need your energy. Let these people go out of your life. You can do bad all by yourself, I'm telling you. You keep wondering, you know, you're doing this right, you're doing that right. You wonder where your blessing is. God said, I'm holding your blessing up. <laughs> and he's holding your blessing up because you keep blocking your own blessings. Stop being a blocking on your blessings. Stop going back to the same people that hurt you. Because them same people has a block on your blessings. Some people was assigned to your life just to not allow you to get ahead. Yeah, open your Bibles. God told you that. He'll use some just to hold you back from what's yours. But it's up for you to pass the test and let them people go and learn how your strength is. Because some of you are so weak, you can't even see it. Redefine your strength. That's what spirituality helps you do. Grow your faith and create your strength. It shows you how strong you really can be. But some of you are so weak, you feel comfortable in the bullshit that you go through. And God is saying it's time out for that. The creator is sitting and watching you at this time. Are you ready for initiation? Are you ready for your new beginning? Can you stand to be blessed? Some of you have to have an ego death. Your ego is so high. God said, and I just heard him, you forgot where you came from. And see, in the midst of all those troubles, when your world feel like it's going upside down, that's what God is doing. Giving you that karma because somewhere along the line, you forgot where you came from. 
always remember as above so below don't go so just because things is looking up for you and everything in your business and you know you made it out of nothing you made it out of the slums the country the dirty dirty and yeah everything looks good but don't get so high to where when you fall you fall all the way back down you understand what i'm saying learn how to keep that balance in life Meditate. God's waiting to hear from you. Go sit by some water. Take a trip by water. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you need to be by water. Cleansing. Take a spiritual bath. Get yourself together and start this new journey, right? Because he's trying to bless you. And he's showing you through so many signs. Perhaps some of you are seeing red tail hawks at this time. Blue jays. Blue jays. Some of you, I mean, you see, you've been seeing blue jays every day. Cardinals, crows, especially the red tail hawks, though, and blue jays, even and butterflies. Some of you start to see butterfly transformation, rebirth, new cycles. It's time. Pay attention to spirit. Can you stand to be blessed? Remember that. Stop blocking your own blessing. I love you. Peace, love, and light.